Right. Okay. So hello everybody. We don't have slides or anything like that. We're going to use the, the blackboard here. Um, so I did a talk, um, was it last year called C++ Lambda idioms. I'm not sure if anybody has seen that. And so I spent quite a lot of time preparing that talk. And at the end, I thought I kind of understand Lambda expressions now, but further made me realize that I absolutely totally don't really not. So, so, yeah, I'm just going to start writing some code. So we have, I hope you can see this. You have an int main, OK? And then we have a local variable here, um, yeah, yeah. int n equals 42, OK? And then we're going to do a lambda. So we're going to say, we're going to do an uh, immediately an, um, invoke lambda expression. So we're going to say int l equals lambda. We're going to capture this n by value, OK? And then what we're going to do is we're going to modify this n. We're going to say return plus plus n, OK? Yeah, everybody with us? All right. And then we're going to immediately invoke this lambda. So the, this return is going to be assigned to this l here. And then we're going to just return l, OK? So further, is this going to compile? No. No, why, why not? Mutable. OK, so, so. Lambdas, lambda captures are const by default. Everybody knows that. So you can't do this. So the compiler will actually tell you surprisingly good error message that this cannot be done. Uh, so what, how do we fix this? OK, we need to put a mutable here. OK, we need to put a mutable here. OK, mutable. I think it goes after the paren, right? Yeah. It goes OK, right OK, there. OK. So this is going to work, right? This compiles, but we know we kind of unbalance the universe. We've introduced a mutable. <laughs> we need to put a const somewhere. <laughs> so, so what happens? What happens if you put a const here? Is this going to compile? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> OK. Who thinks it's going to compile? All right. Who thinks it's not going to compile? Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Further, why don't you tell us what's going to happen? Okay. This will not compile. This will not compile. Their message will be that uh, you, this is a const and you're trying to modify it. Yeah. Oh. But there but. was a way to fix it. Yeah. N <laughs> equals N. Is that going to compile? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. so this completely broke my brain when Further showed me this earlier today. And so I tried to figure out what's going on here actually in the standard. So, so the first thing where like it just doesn't compile in the beginning, that's easy. It says in um, expert prim lambda general paragraph uh, five that the, 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 the function call operator of the closure type is a non static member function or member function template that is declared const if and only if the lambda expression's parameter declaration cause is not followed by mutable. Okay, that explains the first two cases. Right. Okay, now, so you put mutable in there, it works again. Then you put the const here. Okay, so then it says, um, well, if it's a const in and we capture it by, by value, then it says here, in paragraph 10.2, that the type of such a data member that's captured um, is the reference type, which is const int, if the entity is a reference to an object, and blah, 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 blah. So, so basically, the type of this is const int. So it doesn't matter if this is not const, because this thing is going to be const. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can't modify a, a Lambda member if either this is const or if the actual type of the n is const. And so if you capture it like n, then the actual n is going to be const int. But what really breaks my brain is why this works again. So, so, so the standard says in paragraph 6 is that an init capture uh, without ellipsis behaves as if it declares and explicitly captures a variable of the form auto init capture semicolon, except that if the capture is by copy, C below, the non-static data member declared for the capture and the variable are treated as two different ways of referring to the same object, <clears throat> which has the lifetime of the non-static data member and no additional copy instructions performed, which is not what's going on here. So <laughs> like, I, I really don't know what's going on here. Further, do you, do you, do you know? I, 
I mean, I, I don't. I mean, you know, we, we look even even like the first part, you know, about the the coffee where it's 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 torn into two parts. The standards are like very clear about it. It says the type is exactly what you captured, and then a few paragraphs later, it says actually no, we lied to you. There is a constant there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, if it's a capture with equals, that's not going to compile because it's going to say this is const. Yeah, default capture is, yeah. is I mean, th this is the same. It, it it's the same as this. Yeah, it just goes over all the names it doesn't know, grabs them, and puts right. them in here. Does that work because you're creating a new variable and just shadowing? Well, this is not this either. They're both shadowing. <laughs> so if anybody actually knows how this works, maybe Richard is in the room, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would love to know. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to leave the, you with this. <laughs> I, I tried it on like multiple compilers, ver all versions of GCC since, since they understood this syntax, and all versions of Clang since they understood this syntax agree that this is how this, it should be. It's or it's or it's something that all compiler writers got wrong because yeah. the standard is very anal about it. Well, <laughs> yeah, it says you use all. It if says if the image type. captures by copy, it's actually not a different variable. If it's a copy, if it's then no. If it's a reference type, then yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so lambdas are fun, <laughs> right? I think we can leave it at that. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>